Howdy, I'm Sean Haw, running as a Libertarian for U.S. Senate in North Carolina in 2016. If we're going to have government at all, there are a few things that should never be privatized. The administration of justice is at the top of the list. I mean, it gives me chills up my spine whenever anyone suggests government should be run like a business. <laughs> no, 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 no. Businesses are supposed to be profitable and they must grow to survive. Those areas we entrust to government are unprofitable by nature and should be kept as small as possible. Unlike business, shrinking government is a sign of success. When you introduce the profit motive to criminal justice, you guarantee injustice. Private prisons have proven this to be true. Private prisons need to create more and more prisoners to survive. This in a country that already incarcerates more than 2 million people, far more than any other country in the world. And like other corporate special interests, the private prison industry spends millions of dollars on lobbying, demanding more criminal laws, longer sentences, and more mandatory minimums, just so they can keep growing. That's pure evil. To profit off of other people's misery is bad enough. To continually demand government provide them with more victims to prey upon is the worst kind of public policy. Not only do private prison contractors soak the taxpayers directly, they also profit directly from their abuse of prisoners. Many prisoners are forced to take jobs making profits for others at an average wage of 32 cents per hour. No wonder they need more indentured workers. I mean, that's modern day slavery right there. Proper oversight costs money, and the first place where these companies cut corners. Private prison companies are currently facing all kinds of lawsuits for their abuse of prisoners and their families, such as one in Tennessee where female visitors carrying feminine hygiene supplies were strip searched to prove they were actually menstruating and not just trying to smuggle maxi pads into the facility because, of course, those companies rely on the profits they can make selling those maxi pads in the prison commissary. As I say this, there's a massive prison strike going on across the country. I mean, gee, I wonder why. Maybe because every single person deserves to be treated as a human being and not a captive slave who can be abused at will. Prison is the last resort of criminal justice. It should be reserved only for murderers, rapists, and thieves, for those who have proven that they are ongoing violent threat to others we have to stop incarcerating people for every little thing and release everyone who's there for nonviolent crimes with compensation for the injustice done to them. I'm Sean Hall, and I say the measure of a truly civilized society is how few people we have to put in prison.